Hey, what's up guys? It's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today, and today is the 2nd of May, which means the second day of May Madness. As you guys know, May is the month where I post every single day, and we call it May Madness. So for those of you that are new to the channel or might be just joining for this video, definitely consider subscribing because you got a whole month worth of videos ahead of you. Let's get into the video. So as you can see today, we are setting up a mini greenhouse nanodome by Sunblaster. This is the whole kit. It has the light. It has, um, I believe, a connection cable. And it has the little, like, greenhouse dome, as you can see. So this is the setup that I'm going to be using right off the bat for starting seeds. And then after that, I'm going to be having my tropical plants in here and growing them in a greenhouse-type setting. So what are the things you're going to need? You're going to need, obviously, your seeds. That's going to be the first thing that you're going to want to have. I have pepper seeds. I have a whole bunch of of random different seeds that you can see here uh, you're going to need planters you're going to need a heat mat and you're gonna need some light I'm using Rhymer seeds now they're not a sponsor for this video that's just the seed company that I buy all my seeds from they're a great company they're very reliable and they have quick shipping to Canada which was the most important part for me so that's why I decided to order from them another important thing you're gonna want to use is plant labels now you don't have to buy plant labels if you can't find them easily I know they have them on Amazon but you can also just buy plastic knives and right on the end of those break them in half and use a knife and that's what I did for my first few years it works really well and it saves you a couple bucks but if not then I definitely recommend going on Amazon and checking out the plant labels and this is what we are greeted with when we open the box we have a T5 high output accessories kit uh, we can crack this bad boy open and this is basically a little mounting kit in case you're going to mount it and your power cord and then there's also a connection to where you can link two of these together if you're interested in that in the future. There's a little nanodome greenhouse kit. This is basically just kind of telling you how to set it up and what you can grow in there, what makes it easy. Uh, I don't really need this. I've set these up several times before, so we'll throw that off to the side. And last but not least, but probably most importantly, it comes with their T5 high output 18 inch grow bulb and fixture. So I found that these grow plants very, very well. And if you're looking at setting up a greenhouse, I certainly recommend that you use these guys. I'm gonna be setting up my greenhouse right next to Sheldon's pen here. Um, I actually have two set up. This is a very old one that I have and I had to buy a new light for. And this is the, where the other one's going to go. Is right next to it. Now these ones are sitting on a heat pad. As I mentioned in the beginning, this heat pad is what will help start your germination. You don't need it super, super hot, but it works very well. A lot of plants won't germinate without some extra heat. So especially for peppers and whatnot that I'm going to be growing, it's definitely needed. Now we can get to actually sowing our seeds into the little trays that are going to be used in the greenhouses that we are growing the seeds in, obviously. And I'm going to be doing a demonstration, as you can see here. I have ProMix seed starting mix. I have my little nine cell uh, potting tray, I guess. We also have my Rhymer seeds. We're going to be growing bright light Swiss chard in this tray that I'm setting up right now as a demonstration. We also have a pen that'll write on our labels and so we can write out what we're growing so we know exactly what is what. In order to plant your seeds, what you're going to need to do is add your seed starting mix first. What you're going to want to do is fill the cells all the way full and press down on it about as hard as you'd press on your eyelid so it doesn't need to be super compact but it does need a little bit of pressure added to it that is about the pressure you want to add to the soil you don't want to compress the soil too much but it does need some compression otherwise it'll wash away and you'll end up with a lot less soil when you do your first watering so once you've got it all filled up you're going to want to be adding little holes in there for the seeds. You're going to want to be sowing the seeds about a centimeter or two below the surface of the soil. That will allow enough soil for them to be able to sprout up and grow out of. You can see me here adding the holes with a pen or pencil, or in this case, I'm just using the end of the label tag. That'll create a large enough hole for the seed to drop nicely into. So you can see here the Swiss chard seeds are very, very strange looking. They're completely out of this world. They look like little grenades. And while you're sowing, you're gonna to wanna to put one seed into each 
hole that you made. Alrighty, once you've got them all covered over, add a pinch more soil to the top of the soil layer. And now it's time for watering. While you're watering, I'm just going to be using my Reptile Mister. You don't need a ton of water for these. You just want to make sure they're evenly moist all the way through and you should be golden. Last step after you've done watering is writing the name on the label. Looks like the pen's dying, you guys. Might have to switch to another pen here. One thing when you're filling it out, you always want to add when you sowed them so you know about when the seeds will be popping out of the soil. So being that I'm filming this ahead of time, today is actually April 28th. So you can keep that in your records and you'll see in about 10 or 15 days that these should be sprouting out and starting to grow. Now last step of the process is adding it into your mini greenhouse. Just like so, and there we go. It's added in, and in maybe 10 or 15 days, about a week, maybe two weeks, we should have some sprouts coming out of there. Children just wants to thank you guys for watching the video. If, if you stay tuned to the very end of the video, leave the word aloe in the comment section down below that way i know you made it to the very end of the video i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys are considering growing your own vegetables this year in your garden if you guys like the video drop a like down below if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that leave those in the comment section as well i respond to pretty much all the questions it will be a little hectic over may i hope you guys have a great rest of the day we'll see you tomorrow